Uh, Doki Doki has said, uh, have you seen those big Missoula flood isolated rocks? Uh, yes, I've been to Missoula, flown all over it, investigated it, and uh, even flown over the fossil waterfalls there where you have evidence of massive water flow carving out the, the cliff faces there and pouring down. And it just looks like Niagara Falls on a bad day when no water is moving <laughs> over it at all. And of course, that does happen in Niagara because we now divert the water for using power at night. Uh, we, we don't do it during the day because that wouldn't bring tourists in. But uh, it's, 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 it becomes barren and the whole structure up there indicates a massive, massive flow and uh, lots of lots of water erosion um, on a big scale. And just if you want to know a little bit about prejudice, the man who actually reached that conclusion way back in the 1930s was almost laughed out of geological court because his suggestion was too close to the biblical catastrophic model. No, he didn't believe in Noah's flood doing that, but he did believe in massive ice melt or massive um, lake that had been trapped pouring down over the top. Now, you find several of these in the USA. If you want to see evidence of another one, then go and investigate the fossil tree deposits across the southern half of the USA that are semi-petrified in sand. It would seem that they've come after Noah's flood, after ice has melted, massive amounts of water has poured down across the USA, picked up trees and, and rubble, but uh, not, not really petrifying them. They, they, they are semi-petrified and usually in sand beds. So you find that uh, in quite a few places. Glenn, have you been to the Missoula Gorge and all of that? Yeah, I've been to the gorge, uh, but haven't really seen the big rocks that I remember. We made a short trip up at um, yeah. one of those you didn't have time to really explore. You right. also have the similar kind of features in the UK and around like the North Sea, um, where at the bottom of the North Sea, you have evidence of there being open plains. Um, you have a lot of uh, forests, sunken forests around the edge of the UK, uh, where you have had clearly an ice dam break and flood the North Sea as it is today um, and destroying uh, and covering up all of that uh, grassland area and sinking and burying all of these trees. Again, they're not really petrified. They're more like, um, I think, bogwood type kind of mm -hmm. style because they get covered in some kind of muddy, sandy sediment. Uh, but because they're in an oxygenless environment, they don't rot. They just sit there and become sort of slowly impregnated by sediment, um, but don't really actually um, petrify in the same way. So uh, yeah, the do you see that in the world. Did you see that recent discovery Joe just reported in a week or so ago of some human structures like old ports, et cetera, found off the southeast coast of England out yeah. into the channel? Yeah, and there's that, the trees are still there. There, yeah. there is, but Joe said, bogwood-style preservation rather than petrified, which indicates, of course, the sea level was lower. So forget about sea level rise. It's, it's pretty <clears throat> It's pretty, been pretty impressive in the past, but nowhere near as impressive as what the people in Noah's day faced. But it does indicate that people lived on the bottom of the, the British Channel and they actually migrated across there, built things, and were like the Aborigines in Australia, forced to shift. If you yeah. don't remember David Attenborough's program, he was amazed with his millions of years story that the Aborigines said, we used to live out there, pointing out to see where the, the, the big, beautiful tourist attraction called the Barrier Reef is that I was taught took millions of years to grow. And yet mm -hmm. the average, you say, no, we lived out there and the water chased us away. It came in so quickly. And uh, that means the Barrier Reef is a recent growth and it's very rapid as well, mm -hmm. just like it mm -hmm. seems like the Dogger Banks and all of those were very rapidly covered and ice melt would certainly explain that and water level rise would explain that too.